So Chris, Whitby Town ending their uh, rotten run of late in a pretty good style this afternoon, a great performance from your side. Yeah, I, I believe so. Um, it was quite a lot for us to to factor in today. I thought we um, we started the game really brightly. Um, obviously got our noses in front. Um, and then we had a, a scenario to deal with in the second 45, which meant we we, uh, we were up against uh, 11, as a, you know, given the fact that we went down to 10 men. Um, and like you say, some of the, the the different side that we showed in the second 45 was equally as pleasing as the you know the the footballing side that we showed in the first 45. And one thing to take out this afternoon, you certainly can't fault the commitment of your side. I've never faulted the commitment, um, and that was a good example of it today. I think, like you say, when we went down to 10 men, we knew that we would have to concede possession in certain areas. We knew that that was mean that we had to put our bodies on the line in around the 18 yard box. We did that and more today. Um, Bland outstanding for the for the 90 minutes. Um, I think if Bland had been injured today, he'd have been a massive blow, like he would be any week to be uh, missing from the from the sticks. Boys in front of them, Dan Rowe played midfield in the first half, dropped into a, a defensive three for the second half. Um, excellent. Two guys left and right of him, Keyser, Jas, brilliant. Wing backs complimented it well. And like I say, the rest of the body, you know, the team put the bodies on the line, which was really pleasing. Of course, Whitby took the lead from the penalty spot, and it was a great run from uh, Paul Blackett. Just how impressed are you with his performance this afternoon? I thought he was excellent. I thought when you when you're looking to have a different dimension to, to what we're doing in open play, he, he gives you that. He gives us the opportunity to put balls into areas behind defenders and he'll stretch teams. Um, he did that and like you said, had a massive impact on the game today. Of course, it's that pacey striker that Whitby have perhaps been looking for. Obviously, Brad Fuster being out injured for so long. Do you hope that that can be a start of a run and a partnership for Matty Time for the next month? Hopefully, it looked like it had Good ingredients. Um, Matty Tyerman, I thought, was excellent today. You know, really intelligent in his play, making the ball stick, adding it on. You know, at all the right times. And Paul, like I say, was was able to, to work off that and go beyond. And the two of them looked a threat, which, like I say, was really pleasing. And of course, all the goals came in a pretty frantic uh, first half. Um, of course, Whitby, at the time, you know, getting the second and third so close together, it's certainly clinical. Yeah. Yeah, like you say, I thought the you know the the penalty obviously um, Paul's done well to get us the penalty. I thought we've scored a couple of good goals from open play. Um, we've had a penalty save at the other end with Shane, which was which was outrageous, really, given you know where he's managed to pluck it from. Um, but yeah, like you say, it all happened quick fire, and it sort of paved the way for the way the game, barring the uh, the late you know consolation goal that they got, the way they finished. I can't mention the, the consolation at the end. So you must be pleased that your side managed to hang on for so long in that second half, being down to 10 men. Yeah, like you say, you know, you expect the worst when you go down to 10 men, but it, it seemed to galvanise us. As I say, we, we didn't go rushing about the park, trying to, you know, close the ball down in the wrong areas. We got a, a good shape about what we were doing. Um, were Witten clinical enough in, in creating opportunities and finishing opportunities? Probably not. Um, that's, like you say, a testament to what we did in terms of you know, just re-emphasising again, putting bodies on the line in every area. And um, of course now next up it's South Shields at home on Boxing Day. We're hoping that you can take some uh, of the positives from this afternoon into that match. It will be, of course, a very tough game. Yeah, we expect a tough game week in, week out. And obviously when Shields come to town it's, it's equally as tough. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can, like I say, take a bit of confidence from the day and take that into uh, Boxing Day and hopefully get a positive result. Thank you very much, Chris. Cheers.